On this episode of Game Shack, I take a look at the new era tabletop pinball game coming up next. Hey everybody, it's JDV here for Evil Genius Entertainment. Welcome on into the Game Shack. If you want to help us out, please become a Patreon supporter where you're going to get exclusive content, um, extra little tidbits and all kinds of little goodies that, you know, maybe, maybe you want, you know, give us a little sugar. Okay, so it is February and I'm calling this the month of pinball as the hopefully Star Wars <laughs> virtual pinball game is coming out here any day. And I've been uh, taking a look at um, other pinball games that you can get uh, right now um, of any kind. And I have been taking a look at tabletop pinballs in particular. And I... Oh, she's a spunky little gal. I uh, saw this um, game, uh, the new era tabletop pinball game, was briefly on sale at QVC. I seen them at Target, uh, on Amazon. They sell out almost immediately. And I think I bought this and it was gone within hours. And that's in part because this game uh, gets some pretty remarkable reviews. It gets a lot of four, four and even five star reviews from people. And yet it's only like a 30, $35 unit. So I said, well, okay, let's see what we can do as I'm waiting forever to get my virtual pinball games in. Uh, it takes uh, three AA batteries. It's dead simple to put together. There's just a, this little part here, which you just you just pull out and you put it in. It's it's well packaged. Uh, it's a nice looking little tabletop uh, unit. It seems very sturdy. I am guessing that the play field is cardboard. So I'm, if you really use the heck out of this thing, it'll probably wear down. But just the initial coming out of the package, it went together easily, plays the way it should. The, the flippers are pretty responsive and the, uh, the ball, you know, shoots up pretty easily. Unlike some of these other games, you can, uh, just based on the design, actually get three balls going at the same time on the play field. So that's pretty good. I'll show you some gameplay at the end of the episode. Um, so it's, you know, right out of the box, it makes a very nice impression. Uh, what are some of the downsides to this game? Well, uh, one is that none, there are these little bumpers that they give you the score on, but none of them um, are actually reactive. They're just springs. Essentially, they, the ball gets a little bit of action on them. I don't know if you can see, see that in there. The, the spring itself is quite small. There's, it's, it's a, just one or two coils of a spring. Really all it's there to do is to trigger the scoring. Um, and it does have five different sound effects, which is not bad. And it, so it does kind of give you experience. Maybe the best thing of all is that the score here is very easy to read. Um, is very reactive and, and, and you know what when a ball hits one of these things you get a score you get a sound effect that is not true of all of these sort of uh, smaller tabletop or three-quarter size pinball games where a lot of the times you won't get the score and you can't see the background so and then when you want a new game you just hit reset bam it's actually pretty hard to get up to a thousand points on this game um, because that's each one of the things I think you just get five points. That's it. There's no advanced scoring. There's no multiples. There's no uh, sort of way to get more than each thing is just worth exactly the same as the other. Um, I think the sound effects are just kind of randomly triggered. So in that regard, you're going to get the same experience every time. There's no goals in the game. There's no, I mean, it's just very simple pinball. You, you can see here maybe there's a rubber little uh, bumper. It doesn't do anything. The ball rarely ever comes into contact uh, with it. So really what you're getting in this unit is a compact, stout little thing with a very easy to read LED scoring thing, uh, some nice sound effects, and that's about it. Um, I can't say that I'm that disappointed in the game because it's not doing anything 
less than it promises to do. On the other hand, there is another game out that's essentially a Tommy or a Tommy a pinball clone that you can get now. It's out of order at a lot of places. I'm hopefully, I have it on order. Hopefully I'm gonna be getting it soon. And in that game, you do have uh, bumpers that, that react and kick the ball off. You do have these things that do interact with the ball a little bit better. And that game is for about the same price as this, $30 on sale at places. Maybe I've, I've seen it for 49, but it's in the same price range as this machine. This one is from New Era Pinball. Let me just show you the box. So it comes very attractively uh, packaged. There was no damage to it. It was, it was very um, well packaged in cardboard. So um, for a very nice little maybe present for, for someone. And adults play this thing. I mean, I'll tell you right now, an adult can play it. And it, it does what pinball has to do, which is the ball rolls down and you, you kick it up, the flippers work well. Would I recommend this game? And I would say, yeah, I guess so. Um, as in all of the videos I do this month on, on pinball games, one of the things that you have to consider um, in terms of my recommendation and my score is that there are so few choices right now for pinball. In terms of real pinball games, uh, you have this, you have the sort of the neon pinball game, which is a Tommy clone. You have one unit that I've seen available on Amazon that ships from China that's going for about $100. That is, I don't think it's much bigger than this. And then you have a three quarters uh, size pinball game that you can get from QVC from Jax. That's about it. There are a few more. I think Walmart has a, a similar size unit as this that has kind of a gumball machine in it. There really are not a whole lot of new actual pinball game things that you can get. About 10 years ago, you could get a Pirates of the Caribbean um, themed unit from Zizzle. So there really is not a whole lot of choice if you want to have an actual ball on an actual play field where you have a, where you have a plunger or you know something to shoot the ball up. There are not a lot of choices. So what are my final score on this thing? I'd love to be able to give this thing a, a higher score than I'm going to, but so I'm just going to give it a three out of five. I cannot quite get to a four star. I just wish it did a little bit more. All right, well, thanks for watching this little review on the new era tabletop pinball game. If you like this sort of content, please give me a like and subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell uh, on your page so you can get more content like this. Love each other. And until next time, I'll see you in the Game Shack. Mwah! EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.